This is our larynx model. On the larynx model, we can see the hyoid bone superiorly. And then we move inferiorly and we see some laryngeal cartilages. So the first cartilage is this one here. This is the thyroid cartilage. It's pretty large. Uh, if you notice, it comes around, covers the lateral part of that larynx, but that it does not exist posteriorly. So it's really sort of shield shaped, just sitting on the anterior part of that larynx. Uh, I can also see this. This is the epiglottis, and that epiglottis is designed to fold down and cover the uh, entry into the larynx, which is called the glottis. Uh, glottis is a space here, and we can see that glottis open and then closed. Again, open and closed. Uh, the two structures that are moving there, uh, these ones in here, are our vocal cords. Okay, next cartilage that I want to pay attention to is the cricoid cartilage. It's the only ring-shaped piece of cartilage that we see within the respiratory system, a complete ring. Uh, we see it here, the cricoid cartilage is large posteriorly, and we move around to the front, we can see that it's much smaller, it looks kind of like a class ring. Sitting on the back of that cricoid cartilage here are the two arytenoid cartilages. So arytenoid cartilage and arytenoid cartilage. And then the little sharp points on the arytenoid cartilages here are the corniculates. So this is a corniculate cartilage and this is a corniculate cartilage. Inferiorly, I see the trachea, I see the rings of hyaline cartilage, and I notice that it is open posteriorly. So those rings within the trachea are not complete circles, uh, they're actually C-shaped, leaving room in the back for the expansion of this, which is the esophagus.